All right. We are here today. Listening to Charlie Brown's Christmas. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Love this song. But anyway, that's not what we're here. I don't know what the heck. Just recently I've given my youngest eight-year-old son <laughs> his own phone. Because I had to upgrade. This is my other one I had to upgrade. So he got stuck with the old phone. Which is good enough for him anyways, you know. Your eight-year-old don't need something special, but... <clears throat> I forgot all about this. I was supposed to do this the other day, but he was literally goes off on this picture you see here on the phone. <laughs> I don't know how he looked this up on YouTube or how he even found it, but we have Miss Momo. Whatever the hell this is. The Momo Challenge. And, uh,. Jesus Christ. He was going all into detail with this goddamn Momo. From friggin', you know, what time of the night you gotta get up to see her. How she comes out of the phone or comes to your house. You know, she, she's a statue, but she's a person. And, you know, these guys went, did the Momo challenge, he said, and. They all got scared, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like I say, I don't know how this kid got, a uh, yeah, you bastard, got into this Momo world, but all I know is, yeah, he does have a, a tendency of watching what I do, follow what I do, and, uh, <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck? <coughs> I mean, I had, I, oh, what did he do one time? He, he literally wrote something on his tablet. I took, oh yeah, that's what it was. I don't know where he was going with it, but he took a picture of, of the car we used to have. And on his tablet, it was from, uh, uh, one of them kid tablets. I can't even remember the goddamn name of it. Well, you know, the, you know, the kid tablet. Something that you can't really get on the internet because it's, if you, you know, there's safety issue type things. Really, you know, one of them tablets that are just say so for, you know, younger kids. But when you up the screen and everything and the, the door would come up hopefully the name of the tablet comes in my head but he literally put H-E-L-L -L on the door and the yeah on the door and I'm like what the f how's this kid writing about hell I mean he's got some little issues he does Boy's already been in trouble at the beginning of the year of this year of school. He's been doing good so far, but damn. And now, right, giving him the opportunity to have a phone and keep him busy because, you know, today requires all this stuff sometimes in school, but. You know, seeing his older brothers having to have the phone right. He, I gotta give this kid one. And he does look up sensible things. I mean, he'll look up the Shark Ion Flex, which I don't know where the hell he gets a vacuum of fascination. He even found a vacuum app that makes a noise like a vacuum. He's over there rubbing the phone on me one day. <laughs> Get the hell off him. What the hell? Oh, I'm cleaning you, he says. And oh, my God, right? But nothing more impressed me with this one. Momo. 
So I guess at 3 a.m. Gotta get up. It's so I am I'm about to say this is probably a spin-off from Bloody Mary. And all the ancient things as kids that I used to do. I'm for damn sure a lot of people my age remember go to the mirror, say this name three times, and Bloody Mary will appear. Which I gotta try that. You know, lately I've been kind of sleeping through the night and stuff, but haven't had no encounters lately of noises or bumps in the night or damn fucking cat meows and goddamn cats mimicking me, whatever the fuck it was, but <clears throat> but I have been encountering spirits, that's for sure. But 3 a.m. I got a, a f- what did he have for the phone users? Trying to see if I don't know. I gotta go. I haven't gone through this thing yet. I'm going away. My son was talking. I gotta go to the uh, mirror like Bloody Mary. Oh no, on the phone. Look her up on the phone at 3 a.m. That's what it was. Something like that. I don't know. I'm sure it's a spin off the Bloody Mary, but it all deals on your phone. And as you can see, Yes, she does look a bit creepy, but I'm up for any type of challenge. I mean, they even got the uh, pencil challenge where you put two pencils and balance one on the other, and you say the name and everything. I forget the name of that. God damn it. The Charlie Charlie say the name two times or something the pencil starts spinning and then you put a piece of paper under it and put arrows or something on it but things I intend to try and do and yeah I might as well hopefully get up at 3 a.m. one night I used like I said the, the things have been going down with me lately has led me to fucking just want to not get up out of bed you know, stop blaring great white throughout the goddamn friggin' song there. I don't want to face the day. <laughs> but I'm just <laughs> fucking kidding, man, coming up with this shit. So within a week or so, if I can get up at 3 a.m., I will definitely try this task. I will also try the Bloody Mary but I gotta find a goddamn candle for that one. I think I got one laying around in the house, but. Oh yeah, gotta get the, I, I tried Bloody Mary a long time ago. As a kid, nothing happened, but you never know. And I don't think I had the candle at the time either. And that's what it was. Of course, you gotta be, be very, cautious if you do or anybody tries to do that uh, use the right color of candle you definitely don't want to use a red or black candle trying to summon ghost because yeah black is for death red is for blood and white you know will summons anything which quite really don't matter anyways because if you're going to summon something it's going to come up and just come up anyways. It will, it will trick you. I don't know. You might want to try it. Give it a try. You get up at 3 a.m. on the dot. So I don't know. I'll try this one. See what happens. It's just crazy that my kid came up with this shit. What the fuck? Oh my god. But anyways, we'll do YouTube another video down and Jesus Christ. Oh, wait a minute. Got one more thing to end this session. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of to blame for my kid, you know, being into this stuff, but you know what? I was into this stuff at his age. Don't really matter. I turned out fine. I'm not going out as a thud, uh, bloodthirsty fucking killer wanting to kill the world or do something fucking stupid. 
I let my kids watch horror films. And the other day I went to the therapist. Told him about, yeah, yeah, you're doing that therapist. And, you know, how we just, you know, got a little bit of saved money to finally take our kids to a fucking movie, I said. You know, we've been down in the hole, down in the gutter for so goddamn long. It's sick. You know, just to not to be able to do nothing with your kids, and that's why I write. Uh, a majority of reason why I gave my son a phone, because there ain't much to do, man, because we ain't got much to spend. We're on a limited income. And that's what really is burning a hole in me and my wife's head right now. But we did eventually get out to get to that movie. In the movie, I brought my eight, ten, you know, brought my two older kids. <laughs> Halloween! What a perfect fucking movie, huh? And if only you could have seen the guy's face. Let me spin this around. <laughs> He's like, ah, what? What? He's giving me this face. Just giving me that face. What? The, is that appropriate? What is... And then he's trying to get me to go into detail of what happened in the movie. And I told him one part about how the guy gets his... Uh, gets the uh, fence rail and post through his neck up in his head. And I said, well, I wasn't lying. I mean, I was lying a little bit. But I said, it wasn't as bad as Rob Zombie's movie. Halloween series where the friggin' Michael Myers kills an animal is eating a heart out of the animal raw. So <laughs> little does he know my kids saw that one too. He said, I don't think that's appropriate. And da -da -da. You know, I'm like, come on, man. You know what? I think if kids do watch horror movies in the, or even looking at these momos, you know what? I call it parenting. You want to know why? Because it gives them a feeling of there is a lot of dark monsters in this world. And there is. Whether it be a Momo, whether it be Bloody Mary, or whether it be a real life Michael Myers. That's right. Gives your kids the thoughts of should they run out or should they stay out all night or should they run off from me? <clears throat> you know, say so at a store, which there have been kids that have done that and came up missing. On uh, my parenting, making them watch these stories, if I even walk down another aisle in a store and my youngest son's there, he will literally start screaming my name throughout the whole store until he finds me. So, if anybody gonna say that I got bad parenting showing my kids to this stuff or letting them look into this stuff or anything, any means, well, guess what? My kid runs to me when I walk away. How about yours? If you have, you know, that instinct of not showing your child I mean, yeah, sometimes it comes out, you got copycat killers, you got all these dumb idiots, but that's also of the environment that they're brought up in. And that being said, and I got people on my videos that I talk of that were brought up in a very bad environment and became cold-blooded killers. My kids, there's only one monster in this world, that's me. <laughs> and if I wanted to and all these other monsters in the world that come out and do bad things to the innocent I would love to be their monster and do what they do to the innocent that would be my method of madness that's why my kids look at me as yeah <laughs> but anyways all in all Momo, the whatever the hell she is, uh, looks like the goddamn uh, from the ring, but pff, with a happy face. <laughs> it's 
So, till that next video, everybody be safe, take care, beware, beware. You don't know what's out there. What's gonna come up? It's like my me covering videos of, you know, there are some video YouTubers out there that are really people that really have some disturbing videos. And who knows what they're watching of yours, but I know I got some quacks watching mine. But I also got some good people out there. I'm glad that my um, <laughs> fan base is growing a little bit better, but not much. Hoping YouTube can reconsider by watching my videos. Only because, right, I'm here to make a point. Not copy stuff. But anyways, enjoy the day. And try the Momo challenge, because I'm going to out.